What's going on, Port fans? Welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we're going to be previewing Showdown 55. It's going to be a massive game this Thursday night at the Adelaide Oval. It is the Adelaide Crows home showdown. So Port Adelaide will be the away team and coming in after a fresh win against the Saints. While the Crows beat North down in Blundstone Arena. It's going to be, well, this game is tightly contested in terms of, you know, you look at the betting market, it's quite even. Uh, Porter just favourites at the moment, but I would definitely be putting the Crows as pretty good favourites, especially in, in a home showdown, um, coming off a good win against North. And, you know, the season is on the line for them, and we're coming up, you know, injured, battered, um, and I'm not trying to make excuses, but this is a big test for Port, I think. And we talk about big games and big moments. You know, we've had a couple this year, Melbourne uh, at home and lost, Collingwood away and lost, and now this showdown is always a massive game. And we've had two losses on the trot now, both in our home showdown and away last year as well. So it's time to get one back. Uh, so let's preview the game and talk about exactly how this one may pan out. It's showdown time again, isn't it? I just don't, I really don't like showdowns. You know, there's obviously the rivalry aspect and, you know, you, you, you talk about fans and, and the rivalry there and, um, you know, you walk around, your friends and your family are getting into you and stuff like that, showdown week and, there's all these what ifs and maybes that could happen about this game and you just don't know until that first bounce and you always can tell how a showdown's gonna pan out in the first couple of minutes. Um, and I've, you know, the last couple that Port Adelaide have played in, you know, the first couple of minutes, the Crows have gotten on the board quickly and, um, you know, it's been quite a, a, a contest that's been um, for Port anyway, on the back foot the last couple of times, whereas this one, Feels a bit different, feels a bit eerie. Um, I'm not sure how to take it. I think it might be the aspect of prime time Thursday night footy. Um, it could be the fact that it's a, it's a Crows home game. It could be the fact that, um, you know, we're coming in with a few injuries and their key injuries as well. There's a lot to play out here. And I think you know, we're sitting five and two, the Crows are sitting two and five. Their season is borderline um, at the moment and ours is, you know, teetering at, you know, we've got a couple of big games coming up and, I don't want to be sitting here after Thursday night being five and three, loser Crows showdown, and you know, we're back to where we are. You know, this is a prove a point game for Port, um, and as you can tell already, it's a backs against the wall type of game. Um, many of things going the way in terms of as I keep mentioning, it's a Crows home game, which is always great because you're playing in front of their fans, and you know the hostility of that, uh, and always seems to get to us. Uh, I talk about Rory Sloan retiring announcing that today and um, I'll take a second to say congratulations on a wonderful career to Rory. You know, he, he pulled up short in my opinion uh, with an unfortunate injury and he's been one of the Warriors and one of the good guys from the Crows. So um, a massive congratulations and all the best to him in the future. You know, and I, you know, this is a game that it's evenly poised in a sense that the Crows know that if they can get their momentum going now, they're probably in good stead to to chip away and, and eventually they can make the eight if they find that form. Port Adelaide, these are the types of games you sit here and go, we've got to win this. It's as simple as that. And I know that, um, you know, the injuries to Rosie, to Lear, and especially the Sam Powell Pepper, they're three key players in all their different aspects. Um, even though some people might say it's a blessing that Lear is injured because last time they played, the, he played the Crows at Tex Kick 7 on him, which ironically he was concussed then as well. But this time he's not playing, so um, I, I still think he he would be he's a massive out. Uh, Rosie, you know, the captain, you know, he's the best player. Him, uh, well, they say that you know they're going to monitor his availability. I just don't see um, Rosie being fit for after a six day break with a low grade hamstring. Like that's just playing with fire. And we've taken the the less of a risk approach throughout our injuries so far. You look at Dixon, uh, Horn Francis. And everything like that so uh, and Boke as well you know we've had these injuries and we're not playing with them so I definitely wouldn't be doing that with Rosie now you know it's round eight different story different scenario um you know if, if this was later in the year you might do if there's seasons on the line stuff but no nah, not at this time of the year I'm not playing my captain so plenty of injuries for Port um which leaves opportunity and that's the positive aspect of this and you know the Crows are quite a tall side you know they're quite point uh you know, they, 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 I don't. I wouldn't say they're point. They're more, um, you know, they can get you, and they're quite quick around the footy. So, do we bring in 
you know, do we go less of a tool? Um, obviously, our three tools up front with Dixon, Marshall, and Georgiatis. Finlayson is available now with uh, his suspension done. Um, you know, with uh, with Aaliyah out, do we play that looser man? Does he be a sub? Um, the Crows obviously have a couple of key forwards, but you know, in Tex and, and Fogarty, but um, you know, I think their mid tier and lower uh, small forwards do get us quite often and. I think bringing in a small defender or a defender that uh, is capable uh, definitely would be a good shout, uh, in my honest opinion. Whether or not you're, you know, throwing you know uh, a Miles Bergman down there and you're bringing in Finlayson or um, you know, selection's tough this week. I I sit here and go, who can we bring in? And you know, I got Finlayson, um, who is obviously been was good considering you know, his suspension. Um, you know, Tom Clurie, do we bring in a medium defender like him and and we sit here and go, right, you play on Tex because he's had Texas measure over the years, um, but, you know, haven't played a proper senior game of footy in ages. Uh, obviously, Sweet's going to do the sole ruck work, so does that mean Finlayson comes in and, and Dixon uh, does some ruck work and, and you know, Finlayson plays forward? Is it that kind of setup we go back to? Yeah, it, it's a difficult one to, to comprehend and, um, I don't know. Like, I think obviously Jed McEntee comes back in, uh, you know, for, for Pep. He plays that role. Um, I think it's that simple. Whether you have him as sub and Mead plays a full game, I'm not sure. Uh, Mead has been good every time he has come on, so I think giving him a crack would be a good opportunity. But I've, I'm doing this earlier in the week because, you know, it's a, it's a showdown. You want to build up. You don't know what's going to happen and you don't want to leave these sorts of things to the last minute. So, Doing it now, getting your thoughts out and, and really thinking about it. It, it. Yeah, it's a short week, six day break. We've had a couple of them now, and the Crows obviously getting a five day break. And, and does that affect them as well? Does that play into selection hands? Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I think we match up well, but it's a matter of uh, how we play. And for, for, for us, it's. I don't think we've got a game right this year besides gather round against Essendon. You know, round one was a bit iffy against West Coast. Round two was a second half performance against Richmond. Round three against the D's was good. We dominated everything but the scoreboard, so we lost. So that's not a perfect game. Obviously, the Essendon game. Then round five, we played uh, Frio. Just got across the line in a scrappy affair. Round six against the Pies, we were terrible um, pretty much halfway through the second quarter onwards. And then last week against St Kilda, we did okay. You know, the pressure was there, and you know, we had a lack of goal-kicking practice which meant that we uh, definitely were hurt on that that aspect so but again found a way to win with injuries so it, it's I don't think we've had a perfect game whether it's coming or not uh, this could be the one and I'm positive about it in a sense but I'm also very very edgy and you know uh, prime time slot against the Crows could be spelled just it's just you sit here and go it does have Port Adelaide embarrassment written all over it doesn't it but in saying that, you know, this could be the opportunity. You know, we play, as I mentioned in the review, like obviously it's a quick turnaround. I, I said, you know, our next four are crucial um, and we're playing the Crows in you know, a way showdown, but then we play the Cats and then we're back at home against uh, the Hawks and I think then we've got North away and then it's Carlton. So the next five, if you come away with that with four wins, you're setting yourself up for the bye really nicely and, you're going in like nine and three. I think that has to be the goal for us. So this is a game we have to sit here and go, right, this has to be a win. Whether or not it happens is yet to be seen. It is a showdown. There's 27 apiece in the showdown uh, ledger as well. And we've lost the last two. I'm sick of losing showdowns and losing them consistently. My tip for the showdown, um, <laughs> I'm going to tip Port by 13 points. Close game. I think we get them... Um, and get them late too. Um, the Crows have lost a couple of close ones. They also won against Carlton. Um, so I'm just crossing my own point out there. But um, you know, I think with the way it is and the way we're feeling, I, I think we, we do stand up and I hope that is the case. Um, I think our kick, goal kicking power down forward might be the reason that we get across the line here. Dixon's in good touch. I think Marshall, if he gets his kicking right, you know, kicks goals. George Aldis, again, same thing. If he gets his kicking right, kicks goals. You know, if they can kick 10 of our goals there and we kick 16 or 17, it's a winning score. It's as simple as that. I think our defence holds up and 
the Crows for the first time last week, you know, kicked um, you know, over 20 goals for the year. So hopefully that doesn't kick it into stead. But um, yeah, I think just Port Adelaide for me. And obviously we saw as well the, the Variety Showdown Shield represented as well. It's a new design, which is great to see too. Uh, will be both the AFL and the AFLW as well, which is really nice. So looking forward to hopefully uh, seeing Zach Butters hold that one up in front of the fans and the faithful in an away showdown win. Well, Port fans and everyone watching, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's preview. It's going to be a massive showdown 55 one. I'm very much keen to see, and I will be there. So I'm keen to uh, hopefully get the job done and cheer on the boys in, in the, the Crows crowd, which, you know, it's a bit late for them, isn't it? 7 p.m., a bit past their bedtime, the old faithful. Um, but no, hopefully it's a good game. Looking forward to it. The rivalry is always beaming, and it's Thursday night footy prime time, so I'm very much keen. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide and AFL content to come your way. My name's Anthony, and as always, come the pair.